Hello, data scientists. I'm Troy, creator of datascientist.net, and it's been a while since my last video, and in that time I not only have grown this awesome beard, but last year, 2015, I was awarded the Vice Chancellor's Performance Award for QUT, the work I do at Queensland University Technology. And with that, uh, also came the opportunity to travel to go visit some conferences overseas and I've chosen one in Silicon Valley where I'll be heading actually tomorrow morning I'm heading off from my home here in Brisbane Australia to uh, not only go to the big data conference that's there in San Francisco but also to come and uh, enable an opportunity to meet and talk to as many data scientists in the area as I can. So if you're in the Bay Area and uh, you have availability over the next couple of weeks, please reach out to me and uh, you can find me, the best way to find me is on my site datascientist.net, that's D-A-T-A-S-C-I-E-N-T-I-S-T-S .net and what we want to talk about is the past of how the data scientist role has evolved in Silicon Valley or in the US and also where it is right now and what are the current needs of the data scientists themselves, what are the current needs of the people they serve and also talk about what's happening in the future, what might happen in the future, where we might want to evolve this role of the data scientist to, and what we might brainstorm or imagine it, the world could look like in the next couple of years with this awesome role of the data scientist. And uh, particularly if you're great at pool, I'm keen to find out some great pool halls in the Bay Area, so please reach out to me and I uh, hope to see you in Silicon Valley in the next couple of weeks.